was a really intense night. You can see the tree behind it, and you can see how part of this tree is partially obscured by this shadow here. And then there's this luminous mist all around it. And then shortly after that, we heard the gate rattle. I snapped a picture in that general direction, and I picked up this uh, mist coming in. It appears to be coming in through the gate here. While we were in the center of the cemetery, there were eight of us in total. Uh, people began to see a fog, a mist forming around the entrance to the cemetery. Uh, this is on the opposite side, again, of where the pond was. So you could understand it if it was over the pond, but it was at the, the gate, the front entrance of the cemetery. And the really unique thing about seeing something, this is first off in daylight still. Sometimes people don't have the same experience. And in this moment, a group of eight people, seven people saw this fog building and forming around the, the opening of the cemetery. The one person that didn't see this was me. I was standing right there with everybody else. What? Really? Where? 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 It was. It, it's infuriating. And I think, who knows, maybe in that moment, I was the producer. I was trying to gather people and get the shots. And my mind was not open. And, and that's always a, a good lesson to learn that when, when you're trying to go ghost hunting, when you're trying to have a paranormal experience, first off, the idea, of course, you shouldn't try. It should just happen. Just be free, be open. And I guess I just wasn't in that space at that time. But I was the only person out of the eight people that didn't see this fog forming. And it was, uh, I don't know, it was, it was, I guess early on, it was a good lesson to learn. Back to its growth.